I said I was gonna make a basic guide. I was gonna try to do it tomorrow, but I wasn't able to, but I'm gonna do it today. Now, uh, I will be going over a few questions people have asked me and some other ones I've also thought of or things to discuss for this. Uh, first, we're gonna start with settings and some setups. Uh, one thing I have, or at least uh, someone that uh, told me, Worn Out Smiles ended up telling me, go to your, uh, I think, it's, no, controls. Go to your controls and go to the camera and turn off camera vibration and, of course, change this all. Uh, that, this doesn't really change shit for me. I have tried it. It does nothing to me. Uh, at least change your aiming speed to 10. And then, of course, turn the camera vibration off because uh, it will actually reduce the shaking of the, uh, of the screen, so it'll help you aim better with the magnums and the shotguns. What else? Okay, basic, like some basic setups. Generally for, uh, LRC-40s, like the level 40 ones, depending on what it is, you're either going to bring two shotguns or you're going to bring, like, you can either bring, like, uh, have, like, a two shotguns, one magnum, and a rifle, whether that's the mere Moss or Pierce's, depends. You might have one shotgun, two rifles, and a magnum, or two rifles and two shotguns. It depends on which one you're doing. For this, hello, for this current one, generally it's good to take this current uh, LRC4, which is the Force. Everyone loves the Force. And I will discuss something to do with the Force that made me notice dealing with homing ammo, but that'll be a little bit later. Uh, basically, uh, you need two shotguns, one rifle, and one uh, push magnum. Which, even for LRC, LRC hundreds, you need a push magnum, which for basically all our, the level 100 ones, you need three shotguns and one push magnum. Like that, that is all you need. Because the shotgun for each, like each of the bullets, like it's, of course for a shotgun, it actually splits, like the pellet split. For each pellet, it can uh, do burn. So you can basically stack on burn real quick, and that's why they're the probably the fastest killing ones. Uh, generally for, uh, generally for a shotgun set, at least this one, the tab is a different shotgun to set up, I'll show you that in a second. You want all, uh, for the double barrel, you want all capacity upgrades, you want capacity, full burst, fire, at least 8 to 10, focus, uh, BSAA, BSAA or piercing, depending on which one you want or need. And then you can either put a damage or a quick load. I, I put damage on this one. Now for the tap. I did something. Where Where's the decimator? I can, if I can find it. There you go. For the decimator. Uh, I did I did this LRC a little differently. But I usually do like the capacity. BSAA. You need a course fire 8 to 10. I usually change that before, before I do it. Full burst. Yeah, I put a damage. Don't put piercing because the special tax already have piercing. You either put like uh, a damage, quick, low for the next slot. And this one's a little different for according to uh, Chen or... I don't know really how to pronounce his username. But basically according to Chen, on the PS4 only, PS4 only, or the next gen consoles, do not do this on PS3 because the PS3 cannot keep up with the frame rates. If it goes over a fire rate of 2, you'll kill a second faster. So that's why I have fire rate on this one. Now, PS3 at least have a fire rate of 1.6. And whether or not uh, the shotgun's already 1.6 depends on what your tag is. Like, for example, I have this short range. It already has basically... Actually, let me take that off. Go away, I don't like you. No. It already has a fire rate of 1.61, short range plus. So you don't really need to do anything with a fire rate. Now, where the hell... Yeah, for our basic one, it'll be 1.46. Put Corn of Jomi, put BSAA on. Or you can do upgrades to capacity. I mean, not capacity, to uh, fire rate. And then do the rest in capacity. It depends on what you wish to do. Pro probably BSAA would be a better option so you get all capacity. That's just my opinion. Rifle, 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 that. Yeah, I don't want you yet. This one. Now for the rifles, 
you want you, again basically for the mirror for all rifles i think pierce's rifles of course different i think at least from what i've noticed for the rifles you want a fire rate of 0.65 and then of course capacity upgrades basically upgrade to uh 0.65 and then the resting capacity for your upgrades uh and for the slots i bet base i am but no don't don't usually do that by the way you put uh, capacity, full burst, fire or electric, homing, and then uh, I would probably recommend a damage, actually. I was just testing something out with this. I was an idiot. I didn't listen to actually my own advice. Uh, so basically, I fucked up this one a little bit, but I'll live. Uh, hopefully, I'll get another one. I got another one, but it's four slots. Now, the reason I said electric, on LRC level 40s, electric for the magnums and the um, rifles, they actually kill faster. They will kill the enemy faster than fire. Of course, keep fire on the shotgun. That, that will annihilate everything in a 5 mile radius. So, whatever you want to do there. And then, of course, Pierce's rifle is the same thing. Except, no... I always notice that, of course, Speedo does fire slower. And compared to my vanilla one... I think the vanilla is... 1.2 for fire rate? I don't remember. But I know it does help to at least have a higher fire rate for this. But regardless, I only have this is the only one I have is a speed load, so I have higher capacity. But always put uh, capacity, homing, full burst, again fire electric, depending on which LRC levels you are doing. And of course, for five slots, you put damage. Six, I would put either electrocute or extended burn. Or occasion, on occasions, uh, I would also recommend executioner depending on the uh, LRC. Same with this rifle as well. Either put like a damage or if you need an executioner because uh, for LRC 40 when you do co-op if you're there's of course two roles. The role I was in with playing with Chen I had a need I needed executioner on my rifle so I put it here. I want to leave that blank for now. And magnums uh, okay that's a tick puncher but for a normal vanilla magnum you at least want a fire rate of 1.10. At least upgrade upgrade the fire rate at least once. And you're good. The rest of it can go straight to uh, capacity. I almost said firepower. Yes, put it to firepower. Useless. No. Uh, firepower is only for the rifles and huge creature. Anyway, basically you do put all your upgrades to, uh, to capacity. Of course, full burst. You're going to generally want... Where's my actual one? There we go. Uh, you're either going to want electric ammo. Basically, electric ammo, damage. Homing. I don't think... I don't remember. I said full burst. Full burst. Either electrocute or extended burn. And the capacity. Uh, I know some people, if you want to replace the electrocute or the extended burn, you can put anti-recoil. I think that's better to do with your push magnums. If you have a six-slotted one, you... Uh, Basically, you do want to try to not to focus on keeping recoil. I can control the recoil okay, but it, be, it can be kind of hard when you're trying to push something and you kind of won't be able to see where it goes. It's when you're trying to focus on controlling the magnum while trying to keep it moving, like keep the enemy moving where you want it to go in that spot. That's what I've noticed. noticed. Uh, again, take a puncher, you don't need to uh, upgrade any of the fire rate. These magnums... I don't recommend for LRCs. I recommend uh, basically the snubby magnum, the ticket puncher, and the .329. Python can be decent, but you need a fire rate part, just like the uh, tap for a PS4 version. I think it's fire rate, uh, fire rate 18 plus. You need to at least get the 110 mark, and it can be a decent, sh and then it can be a really decent magnum. It's not hard to control either. This one, this one's only really good for. The LRC 3, uh, like 3 1, we have like the Mining of the Depths level with all the ice and the hunters. That one's, this one would be good mainly because it has a faster, one of the fastest fire rates for the Magnums. And basically, you do a burst 2, a, let's see, burst 2 electric homing capacity at least. And basically, you shoot the hunter and enemy you want, and then you switch to another weapon and then mow it down. Because if you, electri if you uh, hit an enemy with a two electric bullets 
it'll uh, of course like it'll work similar to like electric grenade and you'll be able to do more damage very useful and of course you makes you kill it faster and less waste less ammo another way another thing to use you can use it as a push magnum for a push magnum you need of course all capacity basic all capacity you need a capacity uh capacity part homing electric fire or ice and what this again also depends on lrc i'll go more into that with that force and then of course full burst force ammo uh basically for which kind of ammo you need it depends for this lrc 40 you need fire because usually for the reverence which is the giant dollies that like to crawl on the floor basically most of the time you'll shoot like a rocket at them like when you shoot a rocket, like electric, no, electric and aiden rocket, and then you hit it, and then you shoot at least one or two magnum bullets fire. Now if you have fire ammo 10, it's 100%, so you at least, eight, so basically each shot will automatically burn, it should kill it instantaneously, basically. So it'll be a lot, lot, lot more quicker than with the, like trying to sit there and aim with a shotgun, so you can just keep going. Electric, of course, is to, of course, uh, weaken the enemy while you move it to another spot, and then you can either do Bewilder, Rocket, whatever the hell you want to do with that. Ice. Ice is very situational, I've noticed. It's good if you want to, like, uh, I think it's, no, I think, is it, no, it's not 2-5, I think it's 3-4, three, 3-5. Three, it's the one where you start on, like, the white, like a white little hospital room, not like a... No, not that one. Shit, what is it? I don't know how to explain it. It's when you self start off like in an office area. You go forward. And there'll be like a... Uh, two enemies, one behind, like one in front and then one behind the counter. There'll be an exploding guy that spawns once you kill the, uh, those two. That exploder you want to keep alive. So you can kill the iron head behind, like that spawns towards the back. If you do, of course, if you use fire on an exploder, it'll automatically blow up. Electric still has it moving and it could possibly go towards you and explode. With ice, you're able to keep it frozen, and it won't blow up all on you if you once you get closer to it. And it gives you enough time to move it around. And then, of course, uh, it'll stop moving, be water, and it'll go towards the enemy, not towards you. So it helps also in that regard. Uh, another one is, I think the previous LRC 100, the one you started at the market with the uh, regenerator guy. I know some people, I used electric on that. But some people also used ice so they can stop like the one the, the fire regenerator from uh, moving so the zombies can hit it. There's you can do that as well. It honestly depends, but most of the time I tend to find more use for the exploding ones. Uh, is that I believe? Oh yeah, machine gun. Uh, very 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 rarely you will use a machine pistol. Where's my, um, where's the one I like? There you go, no? Machine pistols. Uh, there is one LRC, I think one or two, where you will need a machine pistol. I believe most people do. I don't think you, you don't need full burst for these, if I remember correctly. Because they fire fast enough as is. I never really used one. At least not too much, but I have seen people use it. I believe usually people do, like, anti-recoil... Like fire damage capacity, BSAA, like things like that, and of course some of them also use it as a push, so you also will put like force, so you can move enemies around without uh not having a limited amount of ammo. The LRC I'm thinking of is the uh, I think seven two, where you had to protect that crystal, and basically you could not die on that LRC because if you died, you basically had to start over. And if you play solo, it's a lot easier to keep some ammo up. And keep ammo up for that. I think that's one of the few instances where you don't really... Actually, yeah, technically, technically you still have the three shotguns. You still have a push. But I use, like, the three shotguns and one magnum for that one. It depends how you play with that one. Mm, I'll, uh, I'm trying to think. Oh, yeah. Do not use Anaconda or the... Anaconda or the Pale Rider. It's too slow of a magnum. SVD is too weak. This... This one... The... Uh, Bold action can also can definitely be used for LRCs. It could, it could actually be a very good one. So you're not just limited to the mirror moss and pierced rifle there. Shotguns. I 
I hate the Hydra. I know Eve loves the Hydra. I don't care for it. I don't like it. I don't like the Hydra. It's usually a piece of shit for me. Drake? No. I don't like the Drake either. Handguns are completely utterly useless, so have fun with those. Do whatever you want. Skills! I apologize, I'm not doing really anything. I'm just trying to go over the basics, by the way. Uh, generally, skills, again, they vary from R uh, which LRC to LRC. Uh, but, generally, you want electric, ice, of course, you always want the rocket. Certain cases, a majority of the time, actually, you're going to want Bewilder, which you get from Alex. In order to get Alex, you must beat Campaign on any difficulty. Just beat it. You can get good ending, bad ending, shit ending, whatever you want. Just get it. Get her up to speed. Okay. Most of the time, you won't Bewilder. I will eventually have to go over Bewilder, but I'm not sure if I'm going to do it in this part or the next part. Sometimes, you might switch it out for, like, Hoda Armor... There are instances where you want to use the fire grenade. Fire grenade is good. I think 1 to 5. I think, yeah, it's level 1 to 5. Where basically you have all the blow up guys in that one little area before you can go through the gate. And on to the next area. That That's where fire ammo can... Uh, not fire ammo, excuse me. Fire grenades can be good. Because it also it immediately blows up the blow up guys right when they spawn. That's when the fire, fire grenades are really good. Decoys, again, going back to, I think, 3-4, where basically if you want to keep the blow guys in a certain area, walk towards it, and get another enemy, a few other enemies towards it, you'll, uh, of course, the blow guys will blow up near it, so you don't have to really focus on killing a blow guy in the area while you're trying to do something else. So you're basically trying to kill, you're basically killing two birds with one stone. So that's when you usually use decoys. Stealth is another good one. Uh, I've seen it used a few times where you want to keep one certain enemy in an area while you at least run past them and get another area started. So, there's that one. And then there's another, inc there's another incidence in co-op you can use it where you want to keep one enemy following another the other player and not get distracted by you. So you go, uh, then you go use the cloak. They'll keep following them and you get, it'll go into position without disturbing anything. And everything else is basically useless. Well, exploding bottle. Exploding bottle can be decent. Depending again. And of course for these, usually you want shotgun, rifle, magnum mastery, depending. Magnum mastery is very rare. Usually in Lincoln Survivors when you use it. Hurler is a definite. You get it from Old Man Jenkins. Whatever the hell is. I don't remember his goddamn name. Old Man Jenkins. You get it from him. And then of course you want all the evades. Evade cancel unless you're anti-evade. He actually has really cool stuff, actually. Good good him. Good on him. Can't catch me. You want that, too. Basically, whenever you're about to run it, because, uh, you want all the dodging stuff. Because... I'm trying, I lost my train of thought. God damn it. Basically, you want all the dodging stuff, so you can keep going the further distance and keep moving. So you don't run out of stamina. Usually it takes four, about four dodges before you, right before you run out of stamina. You do about four dodges, and you should get your stamina back up. So you still keep moving at a decently fast pace. It's a little slower than running, but it's better than just doing that light jog that they'll do when they're out of stamina. Crouching power is another one. It's better to do it when you're using a rifle, like the rifles. The rifles are in the magnums at certain points. Shotguns, I notice, like it does do a bit on burn damage with their shotguns, but I think it's usually better to just stand and just shoot them, from what I've noticed, instead of wasting that half a second to crouch down for it. Uh, anything really of interest? No. No, I think that's all the skills. Alright. Uh, what's the next question? I'm, actually, I have a list right here, so I'm trying to see. Rocket. Uh, yeah, I got that, got that. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll try something. Hold up. No, we're not using my grinding rifle. That'll be shit. This mater. Uh, I don't have. I don't think I have my push magnum. Oh, well, we'll use my ticket puncher, and I'll do my mirror monster for the fuck of it. <sighs> With that one slot empty. Ah, oh, good, good, good. One of the questions. 
where the hell did I, I just had it and now I forgot where it was. Now, some things you can do, I've like a, uh, you can do to help save time if you have a shotgun with piercing. What level actually has two enemies really close by? Ah, uh -huh. um, this one. I think this is the one I'm thinking of. I hope this is the one I'm thinking of. I don't remember the numbers. I remember some, not all. For this one, uh, one quick strategy I have seen you can do on level 100 LRC 40. It helps save ammo, and you can, uh. Also, again, kills quicker. It's basically you can freeze an enemy, and then if you know another enemy spawns behind it, you can use that piercing shotgun to shoot it. And thus, you can uh, kill kill two enemies at once. Oh, shit, this is not the one I was thinking of. Oh, well. What did you say there? Oh, you're cute. Like this. Air. Basically, you, you can uh, kill two enemies with uh, one like one shotgun round. Basically, so makes things a lot easier. Again, it's a lot quicker. Oh shit! A lot easier, a lot quicker, and it saves on ammo. This one, of course, I don't have piercing on this one, but I generally notice trying to do two kills at once. I ah, just leave. Basically trying to uh, kill two enemies at once, even with uh, like the double barrel. I seem to not to hit them as well. I don't know if my aim is shit, but I always found the tap to do that better because it's just longer reached, even without the focus on it. Uh, another one. Ah, oh, boss enemies. How to beat? Yeah, yeah. Let's do that one. Uh, generally how to beat bosses, quote-unquote bosses, like big enemies, etc. Again, depends on LRCs. Ah. Generally, what I tend to do is usually you freeze. What's a good one? Oh, this one, I, this is, there's one I can, no, not that one. There's one I can show for two things. Basically, we'll do this. Go to any levels under it for the hell of it, or ten levels under. Excuse me. Basically, for big bosses, depending on which LRC and what level it is, I generally will do course freeze and then just like pound it with shit like a uh, shotguns, like do ice, electric grenade, then do shotguns. And this other thing, see here. Someone was asking me when do you need to restart. This this case for this LRC that was like a while ago, you would have to restart right now, cause you need an elemental for this one or this guy right here, in order to uh, kill the napad in here. So that'd be an instance where you have to restart if you do not uh get the like get the right uh enemy set up. Another infamous one, which is the, like the one I get really pissed off at, is the one with the invisible chainsaw. Basically. You can go through the entire, like, the entire beginning part. And basically, if you do not have at least one or two elemental enemies right from the get-go, before, like, right before the, uh, chainsaw spawns, anything good? Nah, no, not, nothing. Oh, wait, I forgot to get that one. Basically, if you don't have, uh, an L two, at least one or two elemental ones right from the get-go, you have to basically just restart, because you will not be able to do it with a decent time. At all. Nothing of interest. Oh, kissy faces. Let me try to do it at a lower level. See if I can get it to work. And in some cases, I think LRC, this LRC 100, there's some exploding barrels. There's a knee pad straight at the beginning. Of course, you can lower the knee pad and uh, shoot the knee pad with the uh, push magnum and put them in a fi on the fire barrel. Thus so you can kill them that way. Another one is the prison level, where towards the end there's that giant executioner. Towards the end. And basically, with that one, you can uh, use the, uh, what was it, like the le little electric thing. I always call it a transformer. Let's try it at level one. Why not? Not a good setup I have right now, but I just want to try to do the executioner at least. Uh, that one you can use, uh, basically, guide, 
the executioner with the push magnum to the electric throw at least one or two of the grenades and then afterwards oh good good i need you stay right there basically guy with these guy with the electric i'm back guy with the magnum and then you, uh, you can use the two electric bottles and then um use the rocket there i'm trying to think of words while well, i'm trying not to die I should have a better setup, I don't. I shouldn't kill him. There you go. Yeah, cute, no say. Oh, I should wait. I didn't put it on shotgun mastery. I don't even have people order. Well, shit. Let me actually get a setup because I'm so busy talking and not paying attention. Oopsies. Uh. What else? Another thing when we uh, they get the elementals, like when to use. I know someone asked me again. I think it was Tommy. He asked like when should I use like Bewilder or Rocket, etc., etc. Again, this depends on the LRC we're doing currently. Uh, so most of the time, you want to use Bewilder when there are like a group, like a either some big enemies. Like a big group of enemies, and one of them is an elemental, not like the one that has the linking, like it's able to link other things to other uh, enemies. That one, I believe, will not kill it. It'll do a decent damage, but it will not kill the enemy. Which is dumb as hell, but yes. Oh, damn it. And here's the instant where I have to restart. No, oh, I'm not gonna keep doing that. Hell no. Let's not do that. Ugh. What's the level where one spawns right at the beginning? I don't think there's any... Well, oh! The market area. I can do the market area. The little splitter guy. But basically that's when you... you know, I was going to say, usually you use Bewilder on a giant group of enemies or at the end of this LRC level 100, I mean level 4, excuse me. Or on that one, to, like the very end, you'll have the giant reverent Group of enemies, you'll either have one blow, one blow up or two of the blow up guys. So you basically use Bewilder, push the big guy into a group, and then you run to the goal. Like, there's, those are instances where you use it, or you use Bewilder, maybe use a rocket. So you do extra damage and kill everyone, kill everyone in that area. Or sometimes you might use it to weaken, weaken another bigger enemy. Again, like the uh, nade pads are one, the giant armored enemies. Another one is, oh, I know what to do. Uh, another one is, uh, fuck, like the nade pads, the, uh, sp like the splitty guy, you can use it, use it on him as well, and a few other incidents like that. Generally, you just want to try to get the blow up guy, and you, uh, either get the enemy to kill it, or sometimes the enemies won't at the time, so, let's see what we get for the hell of it. So generally, what most people do is they'll be wilder with it, whether nade pad or whatever the hell they have for it, and basically you'll be wilder either ice grenade, electric bottle, or both. You'll do that. Of course, you're a big one. You'll do that, and then you'll just like uh, start sh uh, shooting down the little one with the little power up on it, so you can. Uh, blow him them up quickly and kill every like kill everyone in that area. Actually, this was also an LRC if I remember right. Uh, no one could do it at level one. I think someone ended up doing it in co-op though at level one, but no one could do it solo at level one because the napads are a tank. Let's see with the shotguns. This is a bigger enemy. Generally, you'll bring three shotguns to level 100s, which is what this one was. And you would just start pulling him with a shotgun. You'll do a lot of damage with burn. Burn is basically gonna be your best friend on uh, level 100. Oh hi. Yep. Why not? There you go. Uh, what else? What else? I'm trying to think of what else I can think of. I know one thing I have noticed with homing ammo. 
Especially since this LRC-40 has existed, and I hate this damn... Homing ammo, at least on, like, especially on PS4, is a little dodgy. Sometimes it will not work properly when things aren't right in the way. Let me... Uh, especially on, the, again, this LRC-40. Let me put the push. Especially on, like, this LRC-40 that, that we have. Where there's all that foliage and tree, like, uh, all the trees and leaves. Some reason, which I've had, this has happened to me multiple times. Uh, basically... <laughs> Oh god. Basically, I would be pushing an enemy, and then part of the leaves will get in the way, and it will basically block him from being pushed any further, or he'll be barely behind the leaves, and I can't shoot through it. And then there's very odd incidents where, uh, you try to shoot through the leaves. I don't want to do that. You're like, you'll try to shoot through the leaves, and you have to hit be right on the enemy. Like, dead on the enemy. Or it will not work. Well, I think it's... No. Watch me be horribly wrong. I'm probably horribly, horribly wrong. Actually, let me just do my setup. I'm gonna do LRC4 so I can show that. Uh, that one, that one. Where? I need a damage for this. I already got my push. So I'm gonna, I'll just use that. And... Sure. I want to reload my save anyway. Uh, electric. Come to me. And you basically, you have, to be, you have to be basically right on the enemy. For us to register. This one's very bad about it. Very bad. Uh, but generally with a group... Oh, uh, that's another thing. Generally with a group of enemies... Like, if it's just an enemy by itself, you use shotguns or whatever you got to kill it. Far the way, of course, rifles, etc., etc. For a group, de like, de again, depending on the situation, you either want... Ooh, wow, I fucked that up. Why is that... Oh, did I actually replace it with fire? Well, goddammit. But basically... Hmm... Basically, whenever you want to use a rocket, it's either on a giant group of enemies or trying to weaken down a boss or killing a boss. Which, for, like, if it's a normal zombie by itself, you would use your shotgun. Farther away one, of course, you'll use, uh, rifles, etc., etc. For groups, depending on how big the group is, I would recommend... Yes, I did. I'm so good. I would recommend either doing the shotgun with piercing technique or yeah shotgun with piercing technique or use again to be older when there's elemental shoot that one and then kill a big giant group and there of course some case, cases again you would just use the rocket and then move on to the next thing Of course. Huh, hold up. Sorry, my dad ended up calling me. Oops. See? No, there he is. No. Thank you. Switch to the damn magnet. Thank you. Like for that one, you would use the rocket because the reference are a pain in the ass to kill. And that one, you just, of course, electric grenade rocket. This one, shotgun. Make sure you freeze them. Love of God, freeze this son of a bitch. Because, uh, certain enemies, like with zombies and stuff, you can do it alright. However, with that one, like certain, like the reference, and what was the other one I'm trying to think of? Oh, you're cute. What is the other one I'm thinking of? 
it's another enemy that moves around like a lot whenever you shoot I know the I know the regenerator guy does that where he'll split so it's better to usually freeze them and then basically freeze and then use your shotgun or rocket whatever the hell you want to do whenever he breaks apart I would recommend using the rocket or just freezing and then trying to do, also do the shotgun with him. Not as far as where I can do it. Can I actually get that to work? Eh, I don't want you. Go away. Say go away. Come on. Fight right here. I can't... Like sometimes you would not be able to... And if, it, if I can actually get it to work, actually... Oh, uh, freeze you first. Right here. Yeah, see? He stopped right there. There are certain spots for some reason in this area. Our homie ammo will not work correctly. It'll just stay to a complete halt. And nothing will happen. I'm gonna die, so come on. Kill me. Oh, I still have it in Spanish. Okay. Uh, that's another thing you need to learn in certain areas, because homing will not work correctly on certain levels. Especially this one. So you need to make sure you're in the clear for this level or if you have the rifle aim right at them you cannot be like oh hey let me aim slightly to the left no you had to aim right at him or it will not work and of course the foliage let some reason block you and I don't know why because it's frustrating me multiple times in this one LRC where I'm trying to push that one enemy it'll just randomly be barely touching it and it'll still not uh, be pushed and of course for the uh I'm trying to think what else. Because I think I've gone over everything. Homing. I think I did. Hmm. Um. Uh, actually, yeah, that's basically most of the gist of it. Or uh, Most of the time, I know there are... Yes, all the things I've told you will help. I'm not gonna deny that. Every like skill, like skills, weapon setup, etc., etc., they will, these will help you. However, the most important thing is for HLRC is basically practice it. And this, and this is basically the important part: practice it, understand enemy spawns, and uh, every situation for certain areas. Like understand everything. And it'll take practice. It'll take practice and sometimes a little bit of luck. Because again, the LRC-40 for this one, at the end, it's the best way to kill, to quickly kill the giant guy. Is to have our, is to have, of course, you'll have the electric speeder. But then you'll have the fire, it'll be like a, sometimes you'll have, get another spawn. It'll be like the fire or ice one. Best one is to get a fire one. Because fire instantly kills him. So you have all the explosion when they're bewildered, finally get hit. And basically, the enemy will explode, and the one and the fire guy will make him burn, killing him instantly. Normally, if you don't have it, if you have like just the electric one explode, you will have to turn around while you're running upstairs, shoot him with a fire thing if he's even low on health, like if he only has like one bullet, and then turn back around and run. There is a little bit of luck at points, and certain enemies can like spawn as metal exploding, etc., etc. But generally, most of it's just practice and just getting better at the stage. I think that should be all the basics. There are also other videos on YouTube. You can look at how to do certain stages. Make sure you try different ideas. The, of course, uh, how people do it. Uh, basically how people do it, yes, it is a guide. However, if something doesn't work out for you, or if you don't have that certain thing, whether it's like a six lot of Masa or whatever the fuck you got like that, adjust to what you have and then go from there. Mm. Is that? Mm. Yeah, I think that. Yeah, that's everything. Alrighty. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, anyone that's watching or will watch later, I'll make another video about it. Sorry, if this is really jumbled up. My brain's kind of. I'm kind of scatterbrained at the moment. <sighs> As I stretch. Let me look at the list again, and yes, that is everything. Basically, practice. Make sure. Uh, also, 
another th I was in trying to think fuck I forgot what I was gonna say another thing uh, of course there are certain parts you really re use like executioner for co-op make sure you keep those parts in case you do play a co-op yeah that's it all right hopefully you enjoyed hopefully this does help again sorry for being very scattered brain that's normally how I am uh, and have a good one hopefully you guys do better on the LRCs.